Hello everyone, Jerome right back here again on my Jeronification channel. Okay, um, I'm here to decode multi-images of that of our mythical superhero, if you want to call it that, um, Hercules. Okay, this is an image up here of Hercules. And this is actually a sculptured statue. I'm going to do several paintings of Hercules, or drawings, and actually several um, um, sculptures by different artists. Whereas, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you how they all are signifying and showing us the same exact thing about Hercules. This mythical figure, if it has not been established that this mythical figure is for real, then I'm going to establish it right here. I'm going to, I'm going to verify him as being authentic, okay, and being for real the guy that they called Hercules but not in the sense that you are looking at him as being this adventurous guy in cartoons or in um or in um, fiction um, um screenplay rights okay um this is a real scenario but it's based on Hercules as a genetic bridger a genetic manipulator and a contributor to I guess would be the sacrificing of his body to alter to um to alter um later genetics of mankind um, as I have found to be the case with a lot of these ancient mythical beings which are even in biblical times ancient biblical texts and also in um mythical times meaning greek rome um egyptian african all of them they are real all right i'm just going to read this out to you and i'm going to show you how we arrived at what i arrived at hercules is standing here naked because this image portrays this is a sculpture how hercules genetically became okay you probably say well jerome how in the world can you see all of that just from this well people these this is what is great about this renaissance art and the well encrypted renaissance art and renaissance sculptures what happens is they actually condense this man's genetic becoming and life story on this little picture and unless you know it's like it's like a holy grail a holy genetic grail unless you know what is actually there and what is being said all you're looking at is a nude body of a man with a lion and you're saying well it represents his strength, his manhood. Absolutely not the case, people. False impression altogether. First of all, we have to know, as I taught you in earlier videos, that this stone down here represents the founding stones. The founding stone is that of ancient genetics, which means um, ape, reptilian, black man, um, well, African, Okay, the originating genetics of man before there was this likeness here of Hercules. Now, that presence is usually identified with branching off, signifying that of a, a broken off tree. Or, in this case, a similar object that looks in the sense of being that of a penis. Okay, and meaning that these genetics down here represents would be the testicles from which these genetics actually stand, the roots of these genetics. And this was a way, instead of using a, 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 a penis and testicles, they used a stone, the founding stone of our genetics, and a branch of it, branching off, which would uh, symbolizes that of a tree. In this case, um, you can actually look at it as being the, um, the Radeska tree, which is Hindu, okay, in the five faces of Shiva. And, um, and, um, in that, in that sense, okay? Now, what is happening here? Think of this for a minute as being testicles and being a penis. Or being a founding stone and the roots. Showing you Hercules' hands touching it. But more importantly, it shows the felt, the skin of a lion. The skin of the lion is actually draped over that penis. Meaning that the, the lion was genetically bridged with that of our ancient ancestor, that of being the ape, the ape's genetics. You see the lion's mouth opening there. 
Now, look right here. I'm at the chin of a witch-like being, a woman. There's her mouth. There's her nose. This would be her right eye, and there's her left eye. This woman is the mother of creation. She appears where that is. there is genetic altering. It's, it's almost automatic that you will see a face of her. Um, I like to think of her of the, the Madonna-like um, 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 character in, in biblical times. A witch-like woman. She appears just like we used to see in the cartoons with, um, with witches brewing kettle, the cauldron, and all of that. And you know, see her standing over the pot. Wherever you see this chemistry going on, people, it creates the cocktail of, of ancient genetics, the cocktail of the manipulation of mankind's genetics, and that's what she represents. The lion's felt, which is a lion's skin, actually gives rise to her having a hoodie, and it creates the hoodie, letting you know that there is a genetic altering there. Okay? Now, what is being altered? I told you already. The ancient genetics of that of black man, ape, reptilian. These are the genetics right here, shown right there. The founding stone of those genetics are being altered. Which actually, would actually call, well, um, which um, subsequently calls for the the genetic likeness of that of Hercules. Now, you probably say, um, Jerome, what's what's um, where, where are you going with this, or what's going on? Okay, I showed you the woman's face right there. You can see the witch-like woman. Imagine this: the lion's hair here, being her hair, her curly hair. There's her eye, her eye, and her nose, and her mouth, which I already showed you. And there's the lion. You have to know what she represents. There's another secret to her that I, I'm not sharing at this point, and I can tell you what that represents. What she actually, re the presence of her actually represents, but I'm not going to state yet because um, it's going to go on. Now, there was a mutation when this line genetics, ancient genetics, were mixed with that of the um, the um, the apes' genetics, which are down there is not shown there, and there is a likeness of an ape in there too. Too, by the way, people. Um, it shows you a mutation. You turn it upside down, and there is a cat-like mutation, and the genetics were actually created. And we go right there. There's an eye socket. There's an eye socket. Look at the, the triangular-like nose that of a cat creates the skeleton. Here's the, the skeletal mouth area there, and there's the bottom chin. It shows you that there was a mutation of a genetic bloodline created from that okay and it shows you what come what goes out what comes in and the directions that this stuff actually goes in people look at that you see the skeleton of the cat like that came out of the, that 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 mutation between that genetic link between or bridging between the ape and the lion created this more importantly it created many other things so where would you find these likenesses and these mutations? Well, remember when I told you that it wouldn't show you, it can't show you a genetic, um, um, back then they didn't have, I guess, the technology to say, well, um, like um, a genetic gr um, grid or a braille or, you know what I mean, the, the, the way we read our blood now, I mean, where you, would you take a blood test and everything comes out and it's like a grid that the doctor reads and stuff. Well, back then, people, what they used is art. They used pictures, okay, to signify what was actually being made there. And what is, So where do we look for this at? You look for this stuff in the anatomy of the being that actually is on display. And I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to bring you up to Hercules right quick. And let me see if I have that line drawn. Yeah, I have the line drawn out here. Look right here. I'm going to bring it in so you can see. Look right there. There's the half face. There's an eye socket. The right eye socket. There's the left eye socket. There's the bridge of a nose. There's that center part where a lion's mouth would actually separate and come over and the V-like right there at the bottom and then there's the lion's chin. But notice that the lion in Hercules' body has a face of that like a, a lion. And those little whiskers that actually the lion would have, let me see if I can get this right, I'm looking at this upside down. There's the bridge where them, them little dots, the whiskers will be there and will be there. Now I highlighted it, just penciled it in just a little bit for you to see there. And it shows you, now check this out, the genetics. Now this is earlier on. Now 
You can't see it, but I know that what's the, uh, that, that is there. There's three other faces in here that shows you two, um, two other likenesses of this mutation, of this genetic bridging, when they were introduced into mankind's genetics. And there's three here. Now look across here, now that I'm pointing it out. There's a face here, there's a face here. And there's a face there, and it shows you how it ultimately how these genetics went from that of being from off of here, off this off this genetic tree here, which was bridged. Show you how they was bridged into mankind. Here's a likeness of a lion man right there. Like, I mean, seriously, people, I like a lion man, and then it shows you how they were broken down and broken down and broken down to finally the likeness of this guy was created and that's why he has that lion face appearance which I'm going to show you a little later on but it shows you how these genetics were broken down from the original that of our ape man and it shows you people remember I told you how we got different likenesses and different civilizations of people they used animals genetic bridging that's how it was done it was a process that was done that was passed down through generations and through generations and it's been known all along and there has been people that has been hiding this from us. And it's right there in Hercules' body. Now, I'm going to show you what another face is there. And I'm going to bring it up so you can... So, you, so what's the face right next there? I'm going to show you right here. Here's the face. I've drawn it out for you kind of likely. And the next face creates that of almost like a demonic figure. You can see it there. I highlighted it some. Um, there, where we at there? I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm around the chin. There's the mouth. Oh, hold on. There's the mouth right there. Here's the nose. There's the eye. People, there's a horn coming up right here. And then there's a second horn down here next to where the ear or jawline would be at. You can see it branching off. Let me see if I can darken that. Like in here. Okay. Like right in there. There's a second horn there. Um, I'm going to bring that in closer, I guess, if you can help you see that a little bit. Now, with that, remember where I showed you? See that face there? Now look at this, people. Right next to it, there's another face. It shows you that that horn there is genetically linked to that face. And then there's one over here that trails off. Now look at the other faces that I told you. Now that I came in closer and highlighted that face, it took away from the lion's face that I showed you. You see that lion's face that I draw right there, people, for you? See the nose of the lion, that, 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 that half human, half lion genetic face there? Look how now you can split that face in half. And remember I told you that it had two other faces? Look how it can be realized with this face here. There's a mouth. There's a chin. There's a nose. If you break it, break the nose in half. Now you can. I uh, can't do it upside down here. Uh, but anyway, the nose is right there, and it would be like the face is looking to this direction there. There's three faces in one, but the number one being looking at you is that of a lion's face. Okay. But if you can split it in half, like Leonardo da Vinci, and he he has this technique down to um, a science, and um, in other paintings that I actually decoded where they use half of the face, half of one face, like in some cases I've seen where there was a half female, I mean there was a female, there was a male looking into one another from either direction, okay, and then their faces coming together created a face that was looking forward. It was a three-in-one deal, a, a morphine face scenario, and that's what's actually done here with this lion face. There's a lion face there, but if we lift it up, oh, I don't know, there's a lion face there, and then if we drop it down and come in. You can actually see the faces. See that? They split on you. But look at that, people. Look at that horn being there. There's a horn. There's a horn. And it's shown going into the face of this one here, which I didn't highlight yet. But there you have that. Now, there's something else about this, too, people, that I want to show you. Now, these images, once you find them, they are all verified. Okay, do I have... I don't have Hercules hair here. Okay, it's on another one. I'm going to bring up another image of Hercules. Now, this is, people, this is a sculpture by um, an unknown sculpture. Okay, but all you have to do, 
is actually Eagle Google Sculptures of Hercules or um, you can go at um, taking and and, um, and, um, and go with um, Hercules um, just Google Hercules name okay period okay now I'm gonna bring up a drawing next of Hercules here's a drawing now I was running out of of um, ink on this one but I do have the one that I um, I did get some ink jets so I actually gonna bring in another one in a minute here but I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna put some more light on this too I would imagine Let's see if I can get some more light over here uh, that help us maybe uh, here's a, a drawing or a painting again you don't see the lion's face here people but look how this looks more like a penis like of that of what I told you. Now, remember the the ancient images of the of um how they referenced um um um, um blacks and like cartoons and stuff there, like the porgy and best type. Well, not the porgy. I forgot how they did that. But anyway, remember I told you that these genetics represent that of black. Look at how there's a like ape-like black face there, people, right there. And if you look at these here, they would be like the lips. Remember how they gave them like powdery lips? Um, um, African, well, black, black powdery lips. There's a monkey in here. There's an ape there. And then on top of the ape's head, there's a woman, and it shows her gray hair, which is actually the mother of creation. And it all looks like a cartoon. I'm gonna see if I can bring that in a little, a little closer. And uh, without it, let me see if I can lift it up some. And let me see if I can bring it in a little closer. And and people, it's not it's not too far of a stretch of an imagination to see these figures that are there. Now remember, I told you that this represents the penis and all. Now these images that are here that I told you. In fact, there's another one right here behind there, right there. And my pencil's tracing away. There's the mouth. There's the nose. And there's the head. The female character is right here. There she is. And her gray like hair is right there, shown right there. And then this represents black genetics here, the ape, and black man, right in there. Now, meaning that that is at the stem at the base, at the testicle area of where that of the, um, um, the indication of a penis would actually be the testicles. And this would actually be the shaft, which represents the penis. And other genetics are draped over it, meaning that of the skin of the lion or the genetics of the lion and it shows you that they were altered and then actually bridged into Hercules and then that's how ultimately genetics of the, these genetics were actually bridged, successfully bridged and then it shows that Hercules had behind his back a new seed that was plucked there from and I'm going to show you everything else check it out here because when you go Google these images you'll see Hercules has a seed between his hand is a round seed which represents a nut testicle sperm new DNA that was actually bridged from here and that's the reason why he's shown with that behind his back I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little closer on you there so that you can see that ball that, that, that he's holding behind his back showing you that he actually extracted there it is right there a brand new seed from these bridgings now, what happens in this in the, in the case of this? I don't know if you can see here where this lion skin is at. There's actually, did I draw a face there? I kind of did. If you look over here, you would actually see like that of a creature there, an eye. And you show that the lion's cloak, the lion's skin, you show that this creature actually has a strand of it going into its mouth, showing that this connection... And it shows how this is down here going into the, the base and then how these genetics are all showing you that this creature took these genetics into its mouth and then ultimately it went into Hercules. Now you probably say, that's a lot, I mean, that's a lot to be realized, Jerome. But what happens is all of this is verified. And I'm going to call your attention to, I'm going to verify it. Where we at here? Where, 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 where can I get her? Okay, let me get my, my darker pen out if I actually have it here. Do I? 
I guess I have it over here. Look at Hercules's arm. Can I bring that back up? I don't know if you can see that. But right here, there's two creatures. One is the mother of creation, again, the witch-like woman. Um, can I draw her upside down? Her mouth is right, I'm coming over across her mouth right now. There's her chin coming around, coming around there. Here's her eye caught into the, the crest of Hercules's. Is around her nostril right there. And then, I don't know if you can see what I just did right there. There's a face. With, I'm going to bring in another image and we'll see if we can get it. But her face becomes long, elongated. Let me see if I can bring that in. And it stretches into that of like an ape as well, too. There's her face right there. Okay. There's her nose. There's her mouth. There's her eye. And her face is elongated into that of actually of an ape, too. So when you Google the image, look right there. But it gets better, people. So hang in there for a minute. And I'm going to bring up the... The other image that I actually, I didn't know that this image was going to be so poor, but now the ape is always present and these images can always be verified. One verifies the other. In other words, look in the hair here of Hercules there. And I'm going to see if I can bring that in so you can see the ape, realize the ape is there and the mother of creation. Are we there? Can I see? Okay, yes, we're, we're there. And let me show you where the nostrils of the ape is because you can Google this image, people, and actually see for yourself. All right, there's um the right eye socket. There's the left eye socket. There's a nostril. There's a nostril. And the mouth of the ape is right in there. And then next to, up, up in the corner over here, is the witch-like woman right there and there's other images there but this image here stands out the ape and it shows you the genetic bridging of these um these creatures that are actually being referenced now i have the the image that um of that that you can possibly actually see that doesn't have i mean it has this original color where i wasn't running out of ink it may give you a better idea. Let's see if I got this. Let's see if it gives you a better idea there. I didn't realize that I was so far away. How many minutes do I got here? Let me see if that'll give you. See where we at with that arm. Uh, gives us a whole nother face there. But there, there's the face there that I'm, I'm actually pointing out there. And where are we at down here? Can we see it down there or not? Let me see if I the, the one in the hair now that I got. Did I turn it the right one? No, the ape is upside down. But I wonder if we have a whole other face there that you can realize. And the hair. No? Okay, I gotta turn that. I gotta turn it over. I'm gonna turn it. I'm trying to bring it and bring in the ape. Because once you see the ape and the witch like woman, it's like spot on. It like shows you that these ancient genetics, because my whole thing is that this is all about genetic manipulation of our rooted ancestry, ancestral um, genetics, which is that of ape and that of black man, and that's what this is all about. Let me see if I can give you the ape. And there's the ape right there, people. You see that ape face right there in the hair? And then if you look closely, there's a witch-like woman, um, woman. There's the ape's face there. I'm at, my finger's at this, the, the gaping mouth, which is right here. Oh, gosh, doing this upside down is something. There's the mouth line. There's a nostril. There's an eye socket. There's an eye socket. And there's the face of the ape. Now that I'm on this, I can see another ape's face. Look, it shows you. This is the, look, look at this black ape. Then it shows you after the genetic bridging. Check this out. How this all became Mercury. And this is how this gets intense, people. Check this out. It shows you a white ape, too, with his mouth open over top of the cranium. This is the open mouth of an ape right here. Over top of the cranium and the eyes of the black ape. And now we have there's a nose and there's an eye. It shows and there's the cranial of this ape here. It shows you how the ape, through the genetic bridging of the line, how the ape went from becoming looking in blackness 
to becoming that of a lighter ape right there. And then it ultimately shows you, here's the witch-like woman here, there's her nose, there's her eye, and that's all up in there. Now, all of these morphing faces, people, shows you from how I showed you in the original image there with Hercules. These are the same images that are in the adamant area of this original one that I had this um this sculpture that I sh just showed you of how these genetics showed you that they were bridged and the patterns that they went they took and what happened as a result and which actually resulted into the likeness of this face and this body and this, I mean and the, and the skin tones this is what this is all about now um, here's another Sculpture of Hercules. This is a, a whole nother completely different sculpture. Uh, let me come out some and keep track of time here as I'm doing this. Here's another sculpture of Hercules. It looked like I put the pin right in the middle of this guy's face there. Now, remember I told you. Now check this out. Now this is this is this is completely different than this. Okay, look, it doesn't even show the lion, but the reference is there based on the mane of the lion, the hair of the, I mean, the, the lion's um, 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 mane and all. Okay, at this point, you know what Hercules represents, so you don't need to have the lion's face there. Now, check this out, but they have it here. You see the, 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 um, the hair, the mane, I guess, of the lion there. They have it all right here, showing you that this, that this lion was genetically bridged with our ape ancestor and that of our ancestor of that of the black man okay and it shows you how these genetics were altered now where do they show it at here you, you say Jerome they always show it I don't care what I don't care if it's a renaissance artist painting of Hercules or whatever when you see Hercules fighting these lions and all of that this is what this represents it, rep it represents the altering of the genetic of, 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 um, of mankind's genetic through that of genetic bridging of that line okay there are different historical moments that different creatures would use to genetically bridge us to get different likenesses and I know exactly how it was done um, and has a record of how long it took Okay, and I mean, people, it's it's actually incredible. I mean, you probably say, well, I can't see that being done. Oh, it was done, and they tell you how long it actually took. You know what I mean? Especially in the Bible, when they was talking about, um, well, um, Noah was around for four hundred years after that, or two hundred years after that, meaning that. Or Abraham was around for six hundred years after that point that he took in something. Or took in that, or took in Th these references. People are not referencing that these people lived that long in the sense of actually lived that long. They represent in the sense of genetically were were um, sustained for that period through the courses of other bodies, and this is what that represented. Okay, and. The same thing with Hercules, because you say to yourself, well, there's no record of nobody living for that long. And I mean, there's no record that nobody actually lived that long. I mean, of course, there were no birth certificates and all that. But yet there's references of it in the, in the Bible and everything else. But people, I'm telling you, but that's what that represents. Just like the resurrection of Jesus. It's just that um, he's, um, he's not re being resurrected in the sense of his body and he's coming back in his uh, physical sense. It's... It's, I mean, um, not in a um, physical sense, but in the sense of being genetically reawoken through the contaminations, through the mass contaminations that him and his disciples and all his followers um, 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 achieved in their mass contaminations of, um, of nations in their journeys and in their travels. Okay, now I'm going to go on with this. Here's another image of Hercules. Remember I said that these sculptures in the anatomy represent there's the branch there's the line the stone is down at the bottom the founding stone represents that of the ape genetic bridging they would they genetically bridge the ape and the lion and mankind and altered the genetics at a, at a historical moment in time and Hercules carried these genetics and passed them on afterwards I know how it was done I know how, I, I, I mean, it's not just Hercules. There are many other historical um, 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 heroines and biblical figures 
that have done the exact same thing that Hercules done, including Jesus. And this is the reason why everybody's being commemorated, because they genetically altered mankind's genes from their original state, which was that of ape and that of black man. And that's the reason why we have all of our many different likenesses today. There is a gen this is the this is a holy genetic grail of how everything was done, and I can read it. There's m multiple different um, avenues that the, that these mass scale genetic um, bridgings took place on, and I can show you which was our genetic um, um, which creatures were our genetic contributors. At which point did it happen? How long it took to happen? And whom was responsible? Who knew about it? Okay, and where we can expect to find these genes at today? And, and in which bloodlines? Okay, um, people, this is deep. Um, and dealing with the Vatican, like I told you, um, dealing with, um, with, with clergy, I can tell you from, from the nuns, from the, um, from the cardinals, from the, um, from the pope, um, from the bishops, I can show you the different levels and the different stages from which this stuff is happening today and what is going on with these genetics and at what, and, 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 and who, um, what, what contributions are being, um, um, practiced by which persons and which group and um, what their what their um, what their role is in all of this and what we can expect from it all. You know what I mean, people? This is serious business. Okay, here in the abdomen of Hercules. Again, this almost looks like a bronze sculpture. I don't know if it's bronze or if this is um or if this is stone. I have no idea. I don't even know who the um who the sculpted artist is of this. But if you look here again. In the abdomen area, and look up in this, in, in this, um, which you can actually see there's a face of a lion there. Let me see if I can get my face of my ape there. Oh, there's a, in fact, I can draw you the face of the ape. You can actually see me if I can. Let me bring this in closer. I'm going to show you how. All right, where's me? All right, here's, here's the head of the monkey right here. You're going to see me draw it. Oh, I'm too high up. Right there? Okay. Watch this, people. Here's the cranium. I'm over top of the ape. Here's I'm over top of the top of the head of the ape. There's there's a skull of an ape right there. I don't know if you I'll have to turn and look and see if you can see me. I don't know if you oh yeah, you can see me drawing on that. Okay, good. It just looks so light from here. But I'm looking at the cranium of the of the ape. almost almost like a like like a skull figure right here and I'm going to show you what it's actually doing here there's a partial skull of the ape right there and then here it transfers over there's the skull like face of that of a lion which is right there and I'm trying to get the mouth in I'm trying to make it look as authentic as possible here and it shows you the ape biting into that of the face of the of the lion there and you can go and to showing you that they were genetically bridged right there and if you were to google this image and, and hone in on it you would be able to see the exact same thing and there and there it is there there's the and I just draw this in front of you. There's a monkey skull there. And then there's a lion skull there. That's the bottom. And it shows even shows that the lion knows. I mean, it's undeniable. You know what I mean? And and there's the lion there's the lion's forehead. And it shows you as I'm showing you this. Now, not only just that, people, but there's other morphing images across here and in the body of this of this figure. That lets you know. Now, is this the one that actually has also? No, I don't have that there. Uh, gosh, I thought I had. Um, there's other things there, people. In fact, here's a full face of a lion down here on his leg. Let me see if I can actually. Let me see if I can. Can I? No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that in without making that look all crazy. But people, if you look at it, shows you mutations. I'm gonna see if I can if I can actually 
if I can actually draw this in, it kind of is going to probably look crazy because I'm looking upside down here. I'm going to see if I can give you an idea. It shows you their faces. And I know something about these, these sculptings and these paintings that not even the artists do not even know. And it's a secret that actually comes from a multi-dimensional source and in me learning that is what allows me to see all of this stuff for what it truly is I don't know if you can see what I just done there but if you look there on the on the leg and I can see it more clear than the way I drew it actually but just look at the body people and you will see faces there it is there you see like a cat like face right there um and here there and here there and i mean it, there is actually definition i'm gonna see if i can bring it in more and you can actually see faces you see that face there people and i'm drawing this up on top of the impressions that are already there it's like a picture glyph but just, see that see, you know when i move that in you can actually see the lion face better there and the, the skull of the ape there you see that people now you can turn these in all different directions and these images are throughout the whole body in the anatomy they go from the smallest to the largest and in some senses you can turn the image and it'll give you the outline of that of an ape in Hercules body but if you don't know what it means all you'll be looking at is just saying well damn that looks strange but as these images, they go from their large, smallest state to their largest state. And it lets you know exactly genetically what was being done. And people, when I tell you that it's incredible, it is absolutely incredible. Um, my name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeromeification channel. And what I'm revealing here is I'm telling you that the mythical being that we come to know as being that of Hercules was quite real and Hercules genetically contributed or sacrificed him his body so much like Jesus did on the cross for the genetic manipulation of mankind's genetics um, I can do this over and over and over again I don't care what the artist or whom the artist is referencing that of Hercules they have to make the indication there's something here too look at that when you um when you actually um google this image right there there's a face right there off to the side right there okay um these um these images people these multi-dimensional images they appear in every renaissance artist artwork sculptures and all they hide their faces in their beards they hide it in their hair they hide it um, later in, in, in the color codes people it's just absolutely phenomenal what is there if you open up your eyes and your minds to see it and um, it's different creatures that were used to genetically alter I mean I'm to <laughs> sculpture um, to genetically alter the original state of mankind which from that of ape and black man and this is where the rest of our likenesses actually came from and I have an amazing amazing paranormal experience and an encounter that allows me to see where ape came from how these creatures instinctively knew what to do and how they alter themselves and I mean civilizations of people that you do not know about but existed and this was going on way beforehand in time and um, my name is Jerome Wright this is my true story I'm having a true paranormal experience and encounter and I'm sharing everything that I am with you and in doing so um, I am hope that I'm enlightening you and, and um, in a way that you are starting to finally realize why things are the way they are thank you I'll see you on my next um, 